rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe you hi welcome back to my channel jasmine dustine here <laughs> today's video is an eyebrow tutorial I feel like I needed a fresh, new, updated eyebrow tutorial because the one on my channel from last year is outdated. I don't use those products anymore. Um, and I wanted to do like a comparison of two brow products that I have. Those two being the ColourPop Brow Color and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip Brow Pomade. So this is like my absolute favorite and I just purchased this one along with the pencil. I love the pencil, but I wanted to compare these two because they're the same consistency. They're like the same product, just two different brands. So that's what today's brow tutorial is. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these brows with these products. And you guys can comment down below and let me know which ones you liked which one you liked more. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll leave a little box right here so you can click on the screen. Just hit the subscribe button so you guys can see more videos from me because you know you love me and I love you guys. And if you wanna see how I got these brows, then make sure you keep watching. Bye. What up, what up, what up? So I like to take my number 12 brush from Anastasia and I'm just going to lightly brush through my eyebrow and then I'm going to take my dip brow I gently dip into it and I brush any excess off of the brush so that there isn't too much product on the brush because it's very pigmented and I start by creating a small line underneath my brow and I sketch out that bottom line all the way to the end of my brow and this is just a starting point for myself so I know not to go past this line then I'm going to take small brush strokes and no more product added to my brush and I'm just going to lightly fill in my brow you can see how pigmented this product is because I haven't gone back into the jar yet and I still was able to fill in my entire brow practically. Now I'm just filling in any sparse areas, any light areas, any spots that I missed. And I'm going to take the spoolie again and brush through that so I can have a nice, smooth, even coat throughout my entire brow. And I try really hard not to bring any product to the front of my brow because you want a nice fade. You don't want it to be very harsh and box-like at the front of your brow. So I don't bring any product to the front of my brow. I leave it all towards the end. I'm going to take a little bit more product on my brush and I'm just going to lightly trace the top part of my brow starting at the middle and bringing all the way to the end. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Then I'm going to lightly brush through my brow once more then I'm going to use the spoolie once more and that is my filled in brow it was super simple super easy very natural looking brow I didn't give myself a completely different shape I kind of just followed the shape of my brow that I have naturally next I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35 and I'm going to lightly trace underneath my brow I'm just cleaning it up I don't like to use a lot of this product because it's very thick and creamy I also don't like to use a concealer that is extremely light where it looks like you have halo brows where your brows are literally highlighted on your forehead I feel like that is so unattractive for a female to have and a lot of girls do it nowadays I like my concealer to be very close to the shade of my foundation if not maybe one shade lighter 
Next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige, which is almost the exact same shade as my foundation. And I'm just going to very lightly take some on the back of my hand and use my e.l.f. concealer brush and lightly carve out the top of my brow. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia clear brow gel and I'm going to quickly run that through my entire brow focusing more on the front of my brow because I want those hairs to stand out the most. And that is my completed brow. Next, we're going to jump over to the ColourPop side. I'm using the ColourPop Brow Color in Bangin' Brunette. I dipped my brush, the same brush, into the brow color and I wiped off any excess on the edge of the jar. And I'm just going to start by lightly carving out that bottom line. This is my starting point for any time that I'm filling in my brows. And then I'm just going to lightly fill in the brow, carve out the top. Now I'm just really cleaning up my shape. Running through the same steps that I did with my other brow, just very quickly going to conceal underneath my brow to clean it up. And I'm also going to carve out the top of the same concealer. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set my brow. So I just finished filling in both of my brows. As you guys saw, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate on this brow. And I used the ColourPop Brow Color in the shade Bangin' Brunette on this brow. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of feedback on both of the products, why I like them, and some things that I don't like about them. So, first, my absolute favorite. This is my Numero Uno. This is my go-to. If I want popping brows, this little jar is my life. So, um, I think it's $23. I'm not sure I'm going to put the price right here. So it is a little pricey, but I do feel like it lasts a really long time. I've had this for a couple of months, and I'd say I still have quite the amount of brows left in here. So I think this is going to last me maybe like a year. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have this for like a whole year before I have to go out and buy another one so the $23 or however much it costs is not that bad because it's a long-lasting product as far as the ColourPop um, this was six dollars so it's very affordable and um, but it's much smaller so it's not as much product in the actual jar as the Anastasia um, dip brow pomade. It's a smaller jar, you get less product, and I feel like the product itself is a lot thinner, so you end up running through more of it than you do with the Anastasia dip brow because it's so thick. You kind of have to use a little bit at a time because it's so thick and so pigmented. As far as this, I feel like I go back in more to the jar and have to take more out to fill in my brow um, than I do with the 
Anastasia Dip Brow. Other than that, I feel like these two products are very good to have. You can switch back and forth. I know I do. I love the brow um, pencil from ColourPop that they also came out with. It's five dollars and I feel like it's an awesome pencil and I just love that pencil. Like I usually don't like brow pencils in general because I feel like they're not as clean looking as um, like a dip brow or a pomade or like a, a thick cream. But the brow pencil from ColourPop for $5 is popping. So if you haven't had that one, if you haven't tried it out, you need to get that one. And then you could try this out because I feel like the brow pencil is better than this. But for the sake of this video, these are two good products. I don't think that either of them are a waste of money. You're going to get your money's worth. You can still get a really nice brow with the ColourPop. Um, brow color as well as the dip brow pomade. So if you liked my little review on both of the products and you liked my tutorial on how I fill in my brows, make sure you give this video a like down below. Hit the like button. And then also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Bye!